Do you ever feel like changing direction can be super tricky? I find that happens a lot with letters like the letter L you see here. So this drill today will help you conquer that scale. Hi, and welcome to day six of the uppercase boot camp, a seven day challenge for practicing the copper plate uppercase basic strokes. I'm Sharice of Pieces Calligraphy, and I'm honored to host this boot camp with my friend Nina Tran. If you're new to the challenge, you can jump right on in any time. Just head to my website for more details and previous videos. The link will be down below in my description box. Okay, day six, we're going to be doing vertical twists and loops. This is a fun one and kind of tricky. So the goals, we want to focus on changing direction of our pen. We want to keep our loop sizes consistent. And then last but not least, we want to think about our arm movement. So this whole time or um, in general, we, we if I'm planting my hand onto my page, you usually just move your fingers and then you might move your page and then move your fingers again. But when we talk about arm movement, that's the pulling down or around and across of your whole arm. So I'm locking my fingers, my positioning, I'm keeping my wrist straight, and then I'm moving my whole arm. So just keep that in mind as we're doing this drill. So here's where the fun part begins. We're going to take our page, so have this guide sheet printed, and if not, you can still do this on your page. You'll just want to kind of maybe make some boxes on, your, um, on some lined paper. And then so I'm gonna turn this so that I it, this is vertical to me, but I still wanna keep my pen perpendicular to that slant line. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. And then one more thing, I believe the, the lines on this page didn't print out um, when, when they were created. So, so what you wanna do is, do you notice how there's a blue line here? And then it skips one and then there's red, skips one, and then this should have been blue, or at least I think it helps. Then skip red. So, so anywhere where there should be a blue, you can make that a little bit more bold. If you don't have a blue pen, that's okay too. Just, just make sure you indicate and highlight this line here. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. If you can pay attention to this blue line here. This is the blue one. This is the red one, this is the blue one, this is the red one. So this whole time we've been using just three X height units for our strokes and our practices, but because we're going vertically and because of this unique drill, we're going to actually devote four, one, two, three, four spaces to the, uh, um, the letter L, and then we're gonna keep creating those as we go. Okay, so just as a little bit of a refresher, if you are not familiar with the letter L. So the letter L has a loop here, an entry oval or a horizontal oval, and then it has an ascending stem loop. But instead of just ending on the third line here, which is normally our baseline, you're going to bring that whole stroke, and this is where you can pull your whole arm to the baseline and then you're going to taper off into a hairline and make a horizontal oval and then come back out with a hairline. So this would normally be our letter L, but we're going to transition it into another L immediately. So I'm gonna create this ascending stem loop, come down. So see why we need to use all of the lines? I just realized I was trying to demonstrate for you the L and I ended up doing the drill. <laughs> so let's do it again now that you've seen it. Okay, so I have my entry oval. Keeping that shade, you don't have to put a shade, but if you do apply just a slight one, keeping that on the slant line, and then coming up and over, and then pressing down on the slant. And then here I want to make a horizontal oval I'm going to transition into another L, and then at this point, I'm going to pull my whole arm down, that whole arm movement. And then by the time I get, I approach that baseline, I'm basically stopping my hand at that point and then using my fingers. Okay, so see how I don't move my fingers here? I keep it still, then I, I kind of park my hand, and then I push out with my fingers to create this loop. 
and you want this loop to be horizontal and you want this loop to be relatively um, not big like as big as this ascender ascending stem loop but just big enough okay Sometimes I feel like when I make these L's, I'm like exaggerating it a little bit with that horizontal loop, but that's okay because remember, one of our goals here is changing direction. So your pen is turning to the left, then it's turning to the right, then it's turning to the left. If you were to imagine that you were like a little person writing on the tip of the pen, <laughs> then you would feel the change in movement. And somehow my L's are hugging the edge of the box. So I have some consistency issues to work on my own, but let's troubleshoot this a little bit. Okay, so changing of direction, you kind of understood that where we're turning, turning, turning our pen. And the size of our loops. So I think the shape of my loops aren't too bad. I would say this one got a little bit more boxier, whereas I really like the shape of these ones but the size is important. So this is probably my smallest oval here. Um, I'm sorry, not oval, loop. If you look at the counter space in there, this is probably my largest loop. Um, otherwise, I don't think they, I don't think they, um, I don't think they're, they're that different, but that is something to keep in mind. And then don't forget about these little loops as well. So what we don't want is to create our L, with our ascending stem loop and then we just do something like this okay so it's an itty bitty loop it's not that it's a bad thing it's just super tiny kind of itty bitty it's like petite right you really want to open that space up give yourself some room to create a horizontal oval what this does is this space here balances out this space because with this tiny guy, it's cute, but this long area here, it's sort of imbalanced, okay? If we had a little teeter-totter there. So this one, it's not equal, but it's a little bit more balanced, okay? All right, and then last but not least, you understood the concept of arm movement on this long section from this top area down to here. Then just keeping with the tr the theme of this whole boot camp, keeping that shade on our slant, right? We can't forget that we have a slant line there. So don't forget to take your pencil or another color pen and just skewer your shades and, and ask yourself, how well am I staying on there? Okay, so now I'm going to hop over to my, oh my goodness, it's the last day before day seven that is, which is basically just doing your letters again. But look at all this work, you should be proud of yourself. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this area here and just have you watch me do this part. Okay, and this one actually kept the blue line, so that's good. gonna stop here because I feel like my horizontal oval here is a little bit on the smaller side I want it even bigger so let's see if I can squeeze it in there we go so I kind of purposely made my ascending stem loop that much um, narrower because then I felt like it brought in the the stem so that I had enough space to create my horizontal oval okay and there you have it day six vertical loops and twists I hope you enjoyed that last practice drill before we have day seven where we do our whole alphabet. 
As always, let me know down below if you're loving this boot camp, how you're doing so far. We're almost done. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns with this drill. And I'd also like to invite you to follow along with me on Instagram. I've been doing some Instagram live videos and posting my work and I'd love to see your work as well. So tag me and Nina and be sure to include these hashtags in your posts so we can see them. And all the videos um, up till this point should be on my website. So definitely check that out. I can't wait to do the hand lettered ABCs with you in August. And at any time, again, if you are jumping in for the first time, no worries if you missed these live challenges. You can always do them on your own, and I actually recommend that you do them again. All right, I will catch you next time for day seven, and we will wrap up this boot camp and then tackle those capital letters. Bye.